what's going on with Logic Supply's uh, fanless Perfectron? Because it seems like we we keep coming up with. Uh, well, this isn't really an unusual uh, cooling solution. Um, I mean, is are they liquid cooling an entire PC inside of that box? I don't even know if it's liquid cooled. I think it's just like. A giant all heat passively sink? cooled. Yeah, I don't know if it's. Is it liquid? I don't think it is. I don't think it's. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, I don't think it's water cooled. So it's like a six thousand dollar computer that looks like that. It doesn't look right. like a computer at all. Um, but it's capable of running at ambient temperatures of seventy degrees Celsius, aka one hundred and fifty eight degrees Fahrenheit. Right. And that's I mean, just nuts. Yeah. And it's a Core i seven processor. Uh, you can get a discrete GPU and it. it's got USB three. Like it's, uh, it's pretty impressive what all you can put in there. Um, this is not for consumers, obviously. Very specific use cases where you're worried about ambient temperatures of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Well, it's basically engineered, um, you know, for a mil spec standard like 810G, which I don't think I've ever even heard of before. Um, environmental engineering considerations and laboratory tests. Um, it's just designed to just do horrible things, right? Because these are these are these are industrial machines. These are not something like Brian said you would normally buy for your house, um, you know. But the A ten, you know, yeah, negative forty degrees Celsius to seventy degrees Celsius operating temperature. That is a lot. That's just a huge thermal range to deal with. I mean, this would be like, you know, something that would get stuffed in between the skin and the cockpit of an aircraft or in a tank or some horrible thing like that. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 158 I, to like. It's neat. I, you know, I just, obviously it's not useful for any purpose that I particularly have. I hope I never am working in an environment where I need a computer capable of that. Um, 158 degrees is incredibly uncomfortable. Yes. Yes, <laughs> indeed it is. Yeah. Oh well. It's, yep. uh, well. Yeah. So if you're looking for the completely unhinged ultimate, oh, actually, I, t I take it back. They got prices on them now. Usually ships in five to seven weeks. Intel Haswell i7 processor, uh, starting at six thousand two hundred twenty nine dollars. Uh, Intel Haswell i7 processing and NVIDIA GPU, starting at nine thousand two hundred eighty six dollars. Yeah. Uh, and if you want the ultra rugged IP65 fanless i7 computer with M12 connectors, uh, which has a 40 to 75 degrees Celsius operating temperature, uh, you're looking at $13,793. So, sure. Yeah. Okay. What's wrong with that? I got nothing. Well, if you're talking about if your computer dies, people start dying left and right, or the plane runs into a hill, or the boat runs into a tree or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it may seem relatively cheap compared to the expensive thing it goes inside of. I'm just thinking. Yep. I'm just thinking. There. Agreed. 